Assalamu alaikum. I would like to ask you if a woman has such a pivotal role in Islam, why is that she's prevented from interacting with men? And today is an extremely competitive world. I mean, how without interacting with men, writing for competitive exams and appearing for such, you can stop yourself from growing? The sister asked the question, today is the world of competition. Without women interacting, how can they compete in this world, etc.? Sister, Islam is a religion which has uplifted the women and Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is the major benefactor. There is not a single rule in Islam which prevents the upliftment of the women. But in the name of upliftment, Islam does not believe in degrading women. If you see history, sister, history of Babylon, history of Greek, history of Egypt civilization, women were only used for sex and pleasure. And today if you see the Western world, the Western society talking of uplifting the woman have actually degraded her to a status of mistresses, of concubine, of society butterflies, which are mere tools in the hands of pleasure seekers and sex marketers. Today, the Western society talking about women's liberalization, it is nothing but a disguised form of exploitation of a body, of degradation of an honor and deprivation of a soul. Sister, Islam never, never wants to prevent the women from upliftment. But I don't know of a single job or a single competition in which a woman does not interact with men and she cannot advance. All the jobs which involves unnecessary interaction of the men aren't jobs which are fit for the women to be done. There's not a single modest job which I know which prevents the woman about the modesty role. If there's a job, any job, which prevents you from doing the hijab, hijab not only of the body, not only of the clothes, the way you talk, the way you behave, the way you think, all this comes under hijab. This hijab which I spoke earlier about the hijab that the sister asked me, that's one part of hijab that is a cloth. There are hadith in which the wives of the Prophet, they did cover their face. But everything what the Prophet did is not first fast. Similarly for the wives of the Prophet because the Ummul Mumineen, they were mothers of the believers. For them was a different degree. So they did cover their face, but it's not for all the women. So here if we analyze sister, the hijab, besides hijab of the clothes, the hijab way a person talks, the way a person behaves. And these people, when they talk about equality, when the Western world talks about equality, I ask them, that when men and women are equal, so why don't you have a boxing match between the men and women together? Why? They're equal. Even they agree that they're not equal. When you have a 100 meter sprint, why do the women run differently? Why do the men run differently? Why? Are they degrading the women? Yes or no? So you realize that these people, they have their own way of thinking. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has made the man and woman different. Physiologically they're different, biologically they're different, psychologically different. Depending upon the roles what they have been given, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given the do's and don'ts for these people. Not that a man and woman cannot interact. Unnecessary interaction is to be avoided. And believe me, sister, a woman can take part. We have examples, and if you hear my talk on women rights in Islam, sister, there are various examples. Now, in the Western world, when they sit for examination, men and women sit together, so there they consider them equal. But when they run a 100 meters dash or have a boxing match, they don't consider them equal. When the Western world can differentiate, that here they can take part together, here they cannot take part. Why can't our creator Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who knows the best? So unnecessary interaction sister, I call it the khutwatu shaitan. Allah says in the Quran, in Surah Baqarah, chapter number 2, verse number 68, Allah says, Ya you lazina amunu, oh you believe, do not follow the footsteps of the devil. See most of the places Allah says, do not follow the footsteps of the devil, do not follow the devil is right. That's only a couple of times. Majority time Allah says, do not follow the footsteps of the devil. And I give example, sister. One example of footsteps of the devil is that suppose there is an average Muslim. If a lady comes to him and says, let's spend the night together. He says, spend the night. Haram. Not allowed. He will say no. The same Muslim, who is the average Muslim, if a lady phones, speaking to a girl on the phone, what's the problem? So he speaks to the girl on the phone. After a few calls, she said, let's have maybe tea in McDonald's or Kentucky Fried Chicken. I don't know if it's in Madras or not. Or let's go to fast food joint. Going with a girl to fast food joint, no problem. After some time, she says, let's have dinner in a restaurant. Dinner with a girl restaurant, no problem. Then she said, let's spend the night together. Spend the night together, no problem. 
these are khutbah to shaitan it's not mentioned in the quran i'm giving my own example khutbah to shaitan so therefore stop it at the first level itself when it's a requirement when you have to speak to the man when requirement in emergency etc yes you can do with lowering your gaze suppose you're a lady and you get sick and there's a gen doctor very well you can go to the gen doctor that doesn't mean you cannot speak to the gen doctor when required but with lowering your gaze with modesty but unnecessary gossiping what they have in colleges in colleges they gossip very common not only in the western world in western world according to the status of usa more than 90 percent of the women before they pass school they have lost their virginity do you know that same in uk even in bombay i was shocked more than 50 percent of the girls before they pass the school they lose their virginity i was shocked why common having girlfriend boyfriend you go you know it's common if you don't have a girlfriend then you're considered to be abnormal so the thing is sister these are khutwa to shaitan and we want to uplift the women and these people in the name of trying to uplift the women art and culture no problem they want to sell their daughters and their mothers on the screen and someone told me one of the ads which won an award the bmw ad someone told me the bmw ad it's a car which is very famous for the youngsters like how mercedes you know merc is a very famous car for the youngsters it's the bmw there's a very famous ad someone told me there's a girl standing on a bikini in front of the car and it says test driver now who the girl of the car what are they doing they're selling our daughters they are selling their sisters we muslim we don't want that in the name of upliftment we don't want to sell our daughters don't want to sell our sisters we respect them we love them and we revere them this is the reason sister this does not degrade the woman it uplifts the woman hope that answers the question